Hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight. On the last episode, we took the delicate flower all the way across Hollow Nest and put it on the grave of the uh, mantis that was buried there for the Grey Mourner, who in return gave us our last mask fragment of the game. We also obtained uh, one of the last charms in the game, the lifeblood um, core, I believe it was. And... Oh, and we obtained the Abyss Shriek um, from down in, well, the Abyss. Um, and this time, we're going to be heading, well, back to that sort of area right after we deliver the, some artifacts that we picked up to Lem, because we like checking in on him. Um, and we got an Arcane Egg last time, and that's a fair bit of cash, so, you know. Um, you may notice that I've changed around my charms, or at least yeah. one of them. I don't have the Lifeblood ones on anymore. I do have the Hive Blood one, which I know I said wasn't very good, but this time we're going to be doing something that heavily involves it. Um, and you'll see what it is in just a little bit. Oh, we're also going to put um, a Dream Gate in here because we don't need one by the Green Mourner anymore because we've done that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're damn near finishing up everything in the game, actually. We're getting scarily close to um, the end of this. Uh, which is good, because I was sort of hoping that um, we'd be done around episode 50, and it looks like it's going to be that. So as you can see, there's the high blood uh, charm doing its thing of uh, restoring our health. Just as it's meant to. Yeah. Gonna go down and see them. No. Not today, thank you. Is there space to pull down? I always forget. No, there is not. No. Down. Going down. Thank you. That's not across to them, it's down to see them. Right there and everything. Hello, then. Bell me oh, I got one of each at least. A wanderer's journal. See. It's quite incredible. Yeah, it's the same text as always. Bell me Artrid. Bell me Artrid. Yeah, Bell me said Artred. all this for the Hallowness he was before as well. Kachail, please. Bell yes, me yes. Artred. Hand over the cash, please. Thank you. Kachail, Lies, Velmi Artrid. Boris, a king's idol. Well, there's many of these as you. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, no. It's in that as well. Artred. Everything's getting old. Just like Lem. Arcane Egg. Found that last time. Oh, a pop. third Arcane Egg. You're an exceptional explorer to have found so many. An egg is a perfect protective form. In how else we use stone journals or tablets, our text engraved atop. These eggs are far more secure. Their records are stored within. In fear of damaging the eggs, I'm only able to access the outer layer, but it's clear those in the distant past could somehow access information stored even deeper within. If only I could find a way to do so. Just think of the discoveries to be made. Yeah. Okay. And now we're off. Um, so we're going to go back to the stag station, because we are going to be going to the hidden station once again. <laughs> Now, what we're about to do, you can only do post getting the awakened dream nail. You cannot do it before then. Um, so, just bear that in mind. <laughs> this guy right here. A corpse in white armor. What could possibly be here? Ow. This right here is a King's Mold. They deal two hearts of damage on every hit. They can throw their thing like a boomerang. They can also make a regular old slash with it. They don't have too many attacks. 
two, sorry, two slashes with it, but they're not too difficult to take care of. And they just this black thing that dissolves, and there's a uh, nothing on the right hand side of any value, just well, nothing. We go into what looks like some sort of palace, the white palace, exactly. And here we have the we can scroll down to them. Uh, we have it's all there. Hold on. Uh, I quite like showing them in here. It's quite cool. Uh, good lord. There's a lot in the the bin. Yes, here we are. The wing mold. A fly like construct form of white shell and a dark liquid interior. You can't really defeat them, you can just break them apart and then they reform in a few seconds. So it's not really hard to grind out the hunter's journal entry, but they were a bit weird. Unless, of course, they wanted me to do other ones. Which it might, who knows. I don't know why I jump back to the collector, but oh well. Does it want me to do separate ones, or can I keep doing the same one? Nope, okay. Wonderful. Okay, well, you're just gonna keep taking me to random spots. <coughs> Right, okay. Um, so going into this place, I highly recommend the High Blood Charm um, and Grub Song for reasons that will become obvious. Um, and Grub is Fly Energy if you have it. Um, if you don't, that's fine. It's a terrible route to take, I don't know why I'm down here. Okay, we've got the uh, thing blocked by some gates. Oh yeah, those are the beams sent out by the um, Goblifies Elegy. Thank you for that. Um, they're, they're pretty cool. Oh, uh, they're not going to show up right now because our health isn't back. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> Pretty deserted around here. Oh, another one. Ow! Ow again. There we go. Easy. Well, not easy, but easy. To be honest, this is not the most practical design for a palace I've ever seen. Wow. Ooh, comedy floor. I love comedy floor. Oh no. Oh no, went the wrong way. Okay, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're living. We are a-okay. Anything up here? Soul totem it looks like. There we go. Fair bit in that one too. Okay, nothing up there. Now those lanterns are lit, allowing us to go in here. Oh, it's a fast elevator. Spikes. Yeah, there's a uh, gonna be a lot of pretty tough platforming here. Just a uh, warning ahead of time. Nothing there, just hidden by the curtain. Thought there might be a secret. I, I don't necessarily remember where everything is in this place because I haven't been here that many times. We will wait, King. And those are the royal retainers, and yes, you do have to get them to complete this, um, to complete the Hunter's Journal. You got to kill ten of them. They are the loyal and devout servers of. The Ooh, ooh. Got like one health if you uh, actually bothered basically they're not gonna be taking much. Oh another bench. Lovely. There's no map for this place, Cornifer couldn't get in here for obvious reasons. Three more. Oh there. there, there. 
Oh, it's an, it's an exit for us. I forgot about that. Well, that makes sense. Alright, well. Let's go off to the left. It seems like we've got a lot of places to open up. And here come the sword blades. Yep. And here comes another sword blade. Um. Chances are, when going through this area, there's going to be a lot of waiting, because you're going to be waiting for high blood to regen your health. And Grub Song is also a good one to have, because, I mean, looking at this, you're going to be getting hurt a lot. I don't know how... Well, if the Xbox and if the controller doesn't cooperate, then I'm going to make it look pretty bad, but... I've been through here a fair number of times, so I don't know how of it's gonna look but it is it, it's pretty hard and I'm probably gonna mess up a lot uh this place is gonna be at least two episodes because I mean it takes a while pretty hard and the reason I recommend having both grub song and grub of flies elegy is that the two of them combined give you even more soul when hit um so that's pretty nice ow so that's pretty nice Nice, nice. Just wait for that regen to come up. Okay. Oh. 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 Yeah. Cookie platform. Cookie, cookie platforming. Oh, nearly made it through there. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Ah, oh. No, we're not. We are not fine. Uh, the game, like, automatically saves you at points, as you can see, so when you get hit, you just get set back to those. Um, it will never save you um, in somewhere where you can get hit. Uh, thankfully. Because that would just be mean. What is over here? Another soul statue. Thank you. We don't need that much, but thank you. Another one the same shape as the last one. Oh! Okay, it's gonna save us up there. We're all fine. It's all good. We don't even need to wait for the region. We can just go and hit this thing. Thank you. Lovely. So, here we are in presumably the Palace of the King of Hallow Nest. Um, it's a strange place he's got, to be honest. Lots of filled with buzzsaws and spikes. Not really what I would consider an optimal castle, but, you know, if it's his style, then it's his style. Okay, this one, you don't want to do walking. You probably want to operate purely on dashes through this one. And there's just that tiny hit safe spot in between, and it takes a few tries to get it just right. Or sometimes it takes just one, you know. Yeah. With that middle part, actually, you do want to walk it. Um, with this first one, I don't think you do. Then again, what do I know? <laughs> um, but yeah, there we go. So, in the meantime, uh, I guess... Um, actually, no, I get... Mm, no, we, we can discuss that later. Um... Actually, no, maybe this one is better to just walk. Yeah, I might be wrong on my previous statement. You want to be careful with this one, because if you get hit by anything, you're getting sent back to where that soul statue is, at least. No, sorry. Back to the beginning of it, so... Including the next half on the other side of the saw. Yeah. <sighs> okay, well, hopefully I can try and go insane in some other way while we're here. Um, there are some other strategies you can use for this, um, due to some things that are going to show up later, the charms that make your nail longer are not necessarily a bad idea, um, because there's going to be some nail bouncing and so on, uh, and you want to have those. For this part, um, what I've got on is what I would recommend, personally. Um, although, yeah, I would avoid having, um like sharp shadow or something because a lot of this stuff is built with the normal dash length in mind and so dashing more than your that then is normal 
uh, will probably mess you up more than anything. So I would recommend against that. Okay, got this, and then they've got these three in a row. Just gotta dash through it, you just kinda have to sack it up and do it. And with this one, it's this tiny gap in between. And you gotta stop just in time before you slam your face into a giant saw of death. Slide down. Yeah, with this one you just have to hope that you time it right, and you have to do it pretty quickly, because otherwise the soul will come from behind and kill you. And no one wants that. Maybe whoever designed this thing. Oh, 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 very close. Very close. There we go, lovely. Hey, yeah. Another one of these lanterns. Lovely. Cheers, fellas. Oh, I'm back here. So that lantern's lit, which is one of two. Let's see if we can find that other one. Hopefully we can get it done in not too long over the, um... Usual episode. Is this where we came in? No, this isn't where we came in. What's on the other side? What's on the other side? I can go another buzzsaw. Oh, there it is. Oh. There's loads to go around. We love to see those. Oh no. Okay. That saw will not go all the way. Good thing to bear in mind. Get very close to this other one, then you'll be fine. It's a perfectly safe spot, and nothing can go wrong. This one... I was gonna say I advise don't dashing on, but I, no, I do advise dashing on it. It will help you, um, if you just back up a little bit, and then dash across. Okay. Not if you do that, then it won't. Oh, and before you think about it, I don't think you can dash through the saws. I've tried it many times before, and I don't think it works. There we go. There we go. Lovely. Ooh, ooh, barely safe. Barely safe. I think if you do hug the wall completely, then the saw might not be able to get you. I don't want to say that for certain, but I feel like it might be true, and I sort of want to hope it is. Ow. Okay. It's always good to do a test one, because that's definitely what that was, just to do a test one to see, you know, see where things stop and so on, and how far up they go. A second test one is also good. <laughs> oh! Oh, we made it past. Oh, lovely! This doesn't look like the right way at all. Nope. Not, not gonna try it. Not, not doing that. Oh, there's a lot of saws here. Sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith. Obviously looking down can help, but sometimes you just have to go for it. Thread the needle through that hole, and then go across all these vines, brambles, not like that. Oh, it just put us over here anyway. Thank you, game. Very nice. Sometimes it will do that. It will misread your respawn point and put you somewhere you were trying to get to in the first place, which is nice of it. Yikes. Oh, no. No. Just falling off a platform onto the other, that's the thing that gets me. There we go. 
Oh, oh, that was a close one. There we go. Yeah, this is a platform. I, I, I sometimes get confused. It is actually a platform. I sometimes think it looks like a track for a sword blade to go across, but you can stand on it. Perfectly safe. Except for the giant sword blade moving across it. That part isn't safe. Oh, and you can nail bounce on these. In fact, sometimes it's compulsory to do so, though. There we go. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. There he goes. Oh, another soul dungeon. That's alright, we're fine. We've gone hit enough that we don't need it. Ow, no. Okay. There we go. Lovely. Ow, not lovely. Not lovely. At all. Huh. Oh, oh. Hey. Smack that one. There he goes. Right. Well, I think we're going to call it there because, I mean, we've unlocked that next lift, but we will see what is up it next time on Hollow Knight. So, as for this time, uh, while well, this time on Hollow Knight, we dropped by Lem to get some more cash and then. We found ourselves a brand new area, the White Palace, inside the dream of, well, a corpse, really. Um, and next time, we're going to continue exploring and see where that next lift takes us, probably to more pain. Um, but until then, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.